There we go. Here we go. Got him. Oh. There we go, Joe. Woo, right. baby. But it feels like a good one. Oh, look at that monster. Look at that, Joe. That's a big flounder. Oh, yeah, that's a big flounder. That's two and a half pounds right there, Joe. Yep. Look at that. There you go. That's what we're talking <laughs> about. Look at that. That's a big flounder. That I like. Oh, yeah. Now he's making up for it. Look at, look how fat that flounder is. Look, that's a nice fish there, Joe. Yeah, that's a nice two and a half pounder. Now, when you get a hard running tide, and you predicted this before we even came out today, that we're going to get a lull between like two and three o'clock. That's when the right. tide's really going to be cranking along pretty good. But you get some of the larger fish really charge a bait on that particular stage. Yeah, they, uh, they get turned on by the chum, and they hit it really hard, you know, and then the tide's running fast, so it's really strong hit, and mm -hmm. they're real aggressive, and you really don't miss them when they hit the bait. So when you get some of the larger fish in the middle of the tide, they tend to be larger while the smaller fish are just sitting sure, back picking the chunk? Sure, the smaller fish will probably be back in the slick more, and then mm -hmm. as the tide slows down, they'll start to come closer towards the chum. But the bigger ones, they'll probably all bed right around the pot. If we had one of them underwater cameras, you'd probably see them <laughs> down there now. <laughs> well, I'll put this in a live well here. Okay. We'll get ready to go. Oh, that's a nice fish right there. He got me with the water on the lenses. Beautiful. That I like.